Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today we're going to give a pretty cool look to this old dresser. It's a really good piece of furniture, made pretty well. All solid wood, doors work good. Ah, it's definitely worth putting the effort into. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Okay, let's start out with our Klingon S50 and black velvet. Black velvet's really pretty. It's like a, I don't know, almost like a really deep, dark chocolatey black not chocolatey charcoaly it's charcoaly black i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of water and let's get this on here nice and smooth as you can see i took those poles off definitely not my favorite filled in those holes because we're gonna put some new better ones on there in the end prefer to paint every piece of furniture with the drawers in these drawers sit on the outside, so that makes it uh, kind of impossible to leave them in. But painting them in and then pulling them out is a lot easier than bending down and standing over them to paint them. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Using a little bit of water with my S50 and my paint is just gonna give me a baby butt smooth finish. It won't be my heartache, no. Go ahead and run. Now go ahead. Now that we have all our drawers done, let's go ahead and do the top with black velvet. As you can see, this one had those little like cuts in the top and I filled those in with wood filler because we don't need those. I don't want those. So got those all filled in, sanded it down lightly, and now it's ready to paint. Let's go ahead and get all those drawers out so we can paint the base and the body of this dresser. Oh, little dot that worm is almost bigger than you it's amazing what these turtles can do all right let's paint the entire body of our piece with layered chocolate it's a nice deep chocolatey brown kind of looks like a chocolate but this won't be my heartache this will be your mistake Alrighty, now that we have everything painted, let's go ahead and get these drawers taped off. They have that upper front, that upper facing. So I want to um, leave the border of them solid and I just wanna put our details on that upper front. We're gonna use this. This is foil adhesive. It's a sizing medium made by Artistic Painting Studios. I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the comments below. If you guys are interested in trying any of these foils, there's a million to choose from and I'll put that link down there. So I'm going to use a foam brush here. If I had a roller, that'd be great and be super easy, but I don't have one. So let's use the foam brush and let's apply a nice layer of this adhesive on there. As you can see, I added a little bit of water to it to thin it down. It's super duper thick and you just don't need to have it that thick. let this sizing medium dry for about a half hour here in New Mexico it's super dry half hour is enough time for me if you live somewhere humid you might might want to let it dry a little bit more um, you can even just leave it it will not ever dry completely it's like a, a glue that's weird and it just wants these adhesives to not adhesives wants the foils to stick to okay so it's not going to dry but let's go ahead and take this razor blade and we're going to cut right along our taping so we can really get these drawers nice and detailed All right, how do we know when it's ready? You wanna feel it. It's gonna feel tacky, but you don't want it to feel wet. So just feel it, go up and down. If it like, if your finger hits it and it pulls back up, it's not ready yet. You just want it to be tacky. 
Go ahead and cut your foil to the size that you need and lay it down. I was really surprised at how durable these foils are. They're um, super tough. So you just wanna put the dull side down. You want your image facing up. We're gonna take a rag and just like rub it on there. We wanted to just get it to adhere to the sizing medium that's underneath there. Roll it down. This little scrubber dude works really well too. And go ahead and just work it and get it on there. It's it's not hard at all. And believe it or not, they don't tear. Like the, I don't know, it's just cool. The backing is super tough. Now you can go ahead and pull it up just a little bit. See if you have it adhered enough. If you don't, just lay it back down, give another scrub a -roo, and um, pull it up again. Or you can just pull it up and have like partial of an image. You don't have to cover the whole thing. It just really depends on the look that you're going for. see when I lay it back down give it another little scrub it comes off just fine and it doesn't mess up the other parts that you already did it's pretty tight so these foils are 12 inches wide and they come in rolls of like you can get a 12 by 12 or you can get like a 12 by 15 which is I think is what I got so I'm going to use half of it for one drawer and then use the other half for another drawer. So you're not really wasting any. You um, can use it, you know, and you can fill in little gaps with whatever's left or whatever. Let's pull that tape off there and see how party this copper finish looks. Right, guys, full disclosure, I wanted to do the entire top the same way I did the drawers. Well, I didn't do my math right and I do not have enough of the foil to do the entire top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get in my stash back here and see if I can come up with something kinda cool to make it look like I uh, did it on purpose. Let's see what happens. All right, this is copper paint. It's called Pennies from Heaven. We're gonna go ahead and start with this and we're gonna use a small piece of a sea sponge and let's do some squish, squish, squishing. Squish, squish, squish method adding texture is something that I use quite often. Um, I can get a lot of different looks with it and really enjoy it with a lot of things. So let's see if it will work for this. Let's go ahead and do the same process with a little bit of mint chip. I'm kind of trying to make it match the, the copper patina that's on the drawers. Well, that looks a little crazy. I might like it and do more to it. Maybe if that's what I was going for, but that's not the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna do it again with black and let's take a look. Yeah, no, looks like crap. <laughs> let's, um, let's sound it down and see if it looks a little bit better. I don't know about you guys, but this is how I learn. And you know, sometimes it works out fabulous and other times not so much. This is one of those not so muches. Let's go ahead and cover it all up with layer chocolate. All right, I'm digging it now. So let's go ahead and seal everything with Big Top. I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna go ahead and seal my drawers while they're in and then I'll pull them out and do that base. The foil itself does not necessarily have to be sealed, but being that I'm doing the edges, I'm just gonna give them a little, a little swipe -a and now they're sealed also. Now that we have those drawers out, let's go ahead and get the whole base sealed. Top is a really easy sealer to use. It's a definitely non-yellowing, not that we're using a white, but it's non-yellowing and it goes on super smooth. Don't really have to worry about white chunks 
It's just, it's good. Okay, so sealer, we're gonna new, do numerous coats. So I'm just gonna put that little guy in a baggie. That way I can put more layers of it on the top. I usually do like three coats of sealer on the top. Let's go ahead and get our new hardware on there. I ordered these little cups or scoops, whatever you wanna call them from Amazon. Uh, you wanna pre-jill and then you wanna put them in. You take the tripod up, you take the tripod down and when you're all done, yeah, that doesn't ring. Okay, so I, my original plan was to put the foil all the way across the top. Thought that'd be super cool. And then guess what? I didn't have enough foils. So I tried to do that little uh, whatever that is that I did. And yeah, that didn't work out. So now we're back to layer chocolate. But I was thinking, let's put it here, right? So I'm going to do some taping off. Try to get my, my tape lines nice and tight. And let's see if we can use this, which we can. We'll have enough for that because you only need a little, little strippy do, right? All right, I'm gonna tape. A little bit more sizing medium foil adhesive and let's get that on there now that we have that all taped off. cut off a piece of foil and um because i'm going to use it over and over obviously we're just using like an inch of it so i can just keep uh moving up on that one piece of foil and get this whole little trim covered all right guys here she is all prettied up tell me what you think of this look in the comments below don't forget you can get all your diy products on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com i'll put that link below and if you want these foils I'll put my affiliate link down there too. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of turtle love <laughs> right now. You can stop watching or you can watch up to you. Let me know. Thanks guys, bye.